Hi everybody, welcome back to another gaming and talking video with Michelle Wang. So, I decided, as mentioned in my auto chess video, that I would be buying the Battle Pass and I wanted to play some games again. I would like the Battle Pass to encourage me to play Dota, whether it's by myself or with other people, if I get invited. So, I wanted to buy it and open it for everyone to see. So I, once again, have an acai bowl. <laughs> it is fate and destiny that I get one when I'm playing. And honestly, these are so freaking delicious. It's got strawberries. Visualize it with me. Kiwi, raspberry, banana, pitaya, granola coconut flakes and I'm out all right so I am pretty sure that I want to buy the level 100 version because you get the best deal out of it and I'm down for deals I love my deals I have 200 steam dollars so this is gonna be easy all right I've got a steam transaction thing showing up that's not showing up because I'm only recording the Dota 2 game, so this is like an overlay. I'm gonna authorize. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, actually I'm gonna turn up the sound because I turned it down yesterday while playing auto chess. Ooh, that's a bit loud for my ears. Half. Just a little louder than before. Alrighty. So, I gotta claim all my shit. Can I claim it all at once? Will it let me? Or Oh, it's gonna force me to claim it manually. Okay. So, I saw these being used in some pro games. It's basically just like a silly thing. It's like a balloon that you throw at someone, and that's about it. <laughs> I'm not sure actually what this one will appear like in the game. Silly shovel stuff, you can dig up random rewards in the middle of a game. I don't know what this does. High five. I think this is for the special jungle thing, I'm not sure, we'll see after. Accept all. Alrighty, let's claim these things one by one. So the player packs, honestly, are, I think, usually pretty meaningless to me. Um, <laughs> so Slardar is a hero that I pretty much never play. Wow, there's some delay going on. That's a little bit annoying. Here's my first treasure. I'll open all my treasures afterwards. All right, let's see what Rylai is gonna give me. Spin the wheel. There's not even a puzzle to solve. I like it this way. The wheel says. Uh. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a mythical set? Interesting. Alright. This is decent because I would play Ancient Apparition a few times. He is a support hero. Another treasure. More trusty shovel shit. <clears throat> Chat wheel stuff has become very popular um, during some of the pro games. You see them spamming chat wheel sounds, which can be funny at times, but I think for someone like me, I just don't spam shit. I don't really like to. So other people would enjoy those features a lot, but I don't care that much about it. This is a style for the courier that gets awarded with the battle pass but i have my favorite courier i purchased it several years ago i'll show you guys after this but he's basically 
pink and I bought it for a fair amount of steam money so I treasure him and I will use him forever let's keep going cry lie again what are you gonna give me now woman oh garbage this one's garbage more of this stuff what is this oh so these effect thingies are stuff you'll see in game so for example earlier there was a fountain effect how do I scroll Anyways, there was a fountain one. So basically, it means that anytime you're in the fountain, it'll show like purpley stuff around your character. More taunts. <clears throat> Player pack. Jungle expedition. So jungle expedition, I believe, will be like objective based. Um, I'll show after, but you're basically going to be like play certain heroes and probably do certain objectives like build an item or get this amount of kills restore this amount of mana and it'll traverse the jungle and then the final reward is an item set all right woman third time honestly though this thing i don't really care about it very much because i just get the feeling that you know they probably rig it in some way so it doesn't ever give you anything useful that's what I think at least right the versus screen basically the versus screen is what shows up after everyone's done drafting and the game is about to start so the versus screen shows up and we'll see what that looks like later it's gonna be something different Come on, that's on the air. <laughs> All right, one more time. Did you spin the wheel? It's my turn to say it. The wheel says magic talking wheel. You won. Does anyone lose here? Apart from me. Okay. All right, so jungle. Um, yeah, so basically you see win with these heroes and then you traverse and this is the final set. This is Dazzle. I definitely enjoy playing him. I actually have a pretty rare item on him. How do I go there again? Dazzle. Damn, what the hell? Here he is. Oh, this one. So I Where have my this. my shadow falls, there falls my fall. I have this pipe legendary weapon, and it can only be gifted, so I had to trade for it. And I guess for the longest time, I never really wanted to trade or anything for Dota because it requires a fair bit of trust, right? Uh, when you gift, they have to. Someone has to go first, right? And do it and then you can reciprocate with whatever it ends up being. I think I offered to trade an item or something for this. because, Or, yeah, I don't think I ever did Steam money or even PayPal, because I'm not going to spend real money on these items. But, yeah, I like this item a lot. And actually, one of my most rare and coveted items I have is on Skywrath Mage. This golden... Tis my honor. Okay, <laughs> their voices are kind of loud. I don't want to speak over them. But yeah, this is very, I guess it's pretty rare. Um, I actually wonder how expensive it is right now. But this was one of the treasures I got with my ex-boyfriend, James, when he went to TI and we each bought a set of demi heroes so every year they released five of them 
So he would buy five, I would give him money to buy five for me because he went there in person and when he returned, we would open them together. But he actually opened them while he was there. So he would choose five on his own and open them. So actually, one year I got extremely lucky and I got two golden ones and it felt kind of weird. You know, whenever I think back to it, maybe I should have been nice and given him one because I got two and I think at the time that wasn't something I thought about so I kind of feel bad maybe being a little selfish about it but yeah I got two this is one of them I decided to keep the other one was shadow shaman so yeah so this weapon right here I also got a golden version of it but since it was um an item I didn't really care about as much I just sold it and it basically turns people into a golden sheep he hexes you with hex and yeah that's the main change and for sky wrath i forget what this changes exactly i think it changes oh yeah it changes his ultimate so this one fires like a bunch of swords down and it looks gold and it looks super cool but yeah i like the way my sky wrath looks but in this new treasure let me show you yeah so this these wings come in the treasure the first treasure for the battle pass so let's go back and see open some um here all right so these are all the different cosmetics that is offered in this treasure and i have six because i just purchased level 100 so let me comment a little bit. Originally, it's purple. So I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It just wouldn't match my staff. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Zoom back out. Another hero, this guy, is a support hero. And I don't play him very often, admittedly. I don't play melee supports very often because I feel like most melee supports tend to be position 4 which are the playmakers of supports. They don't buy as many wards. They are more item focused than position five support, which is what I tend to play, which is very sacrificial. You buy everything, you buy dust, you buy detection, you buy wards, you buy a billion things and you don't tend to have that much money. But anyways, uh, it would be nice to get this, but very rare. I don't remember what the percent, oh, here we go. interesting odds i didn't realize that they put this in here so my sixth treasure would give me a one in 80 chance i actually wonder if i'm going to be lucky i think sometimes when it comes to gaming i can be kind of lucky because at least in wow i got some pretty nice mount drops that were very rare and that made me feel special <laughs> so getting this would be amazing i think this is worth like I think people on Reddit were saying that this was worth, uh, you know what, I don't want to say anything because I don't remember the exact number, but it's definitely expensive because Cosmically Rare is super duper rare. Oh, it doesn't even tell you the chances of Cosmically Rare. All right, let's start and open the first one. You know, that was such a buzzkill that they fucking left the Cosmically Rare up. So to be honest, I hardly ever let it play out like that because I don't have the patience for that. So for the next ones, let's just skip it. Let's not buzzkill ourselves. So I would just like to get this one. I feel like it's important for me to at least get him and Earthshaker because they're support heroes. They're characters I play, heroes I play. So let's try again. Lame. Lame. <laughs> Lame. How many do I have left? All right, at least I got him. I have one more left.
you know, I have to admit that sometimes it's so tempting to just buy more and gamble, right? So let's see. 1 in 56. So wow, it actually takes quite a while before you get really good odds. The thing is, Valve is kind of evil. They structure this in a way where the treasures are just like when you get access to more treasures, it doesn't feel so fair. <laughs> you know, they put it at like some sort of odd number bit where, you know, they, they make it 24 levels, but maybe it'll require like 49 levels to get the next treasure or something like that. So you kind of get fucked in that way. But I don't know. It's tempting to... It's tempting to buy more. I have 200 Steam dollars down to 150. So this is James. He's at 207. I actually wonder if he bought levels, but he also plays more than I do. So he's been playing a fair amount these past few days, and th maybe this definitely contributes. But I think when it comes to the junk, oh, I can vote. So the Arcana is the most expensive, well, I want to say that. Let's just say it changes a lot about the hero wearing it, and it's just uh, like a, usually a flat $30. So for example, there are several Arcanas. Lena has one. Sky Wrath Mage. I don't think I own it though. Do I? Yes, I do, actually. So, it, it's it's her head. <laughs> this was one of the first Arcanas created. So, this one doesn't look as good. So, for example, if I switch it out, you'll see. That's what she normally looks like with Arcana. Changes a lot for her. And it also changes a lot of spell graphics and all of that. So, people usually really like to use the Arcana if they own it, for sure. So, the few support arcanas i think they've only made one so far they made one for crystal maiden riley and this is what it looks like <laughs> behold the scourge of ice rack it basically gives her this freaking dog and it makes her look freaking elegant it makes her float i think i remember normally she walks i've been using this arcana for so long that i don't remember if she walks without it oh look it's jose he's ready for some uh auto chess <laughs> What a save. Great. <laughs> 